Okay, we're gonna, oh. we're gonna, we're gonna. <laughs> Buddy, it's okay. I'll get that. Keanu Reeves is known for his generosity. You won't believe what he gave the stunt doubles for the Matrix Reloaded movie. We all need a friend like Keanu. Keanu had come up to me and said, well, you know, I, I just want to tell you, I think the or 12 doubles, our stunt guys did a great job, and I, I'd really like to give them some. I'd like to give them a bike. I was like, well, you know, mountain bikes or something, that's more than generous. I, he's like, no, no, I'd like to give them motorcycles. The trailer pulled up in the naval base we were at. One by one, they unloaded 12 brand new Harleys and gave them each to the stunt guys. It's pretty funny. So like, I think like nine out of the 12 stunt guys, some of the toughest guys there in a minute, little tears in their eyes and stuff. Keanu Reeves has the option to live like many other celebrities, but instead he chooses to ride the subway. As he relaxes in a seat during the journey, his attention is drawn to a woman standing nearby. Without hesitation, he demonstrates his true gentlemanly nature without waiting for others to take the initiative. Many celebrities don't have time for more than a few seconds of interaction with fans. Keanu is different. He played a whole game of catch with this random kid. We've discussed the impressive motorcycles that Keanu generously provided for his stunt team. Now what about the remaining 800 crew members? Reeves surprised each one of them with lavish champagne gifts, totaling a staggering sum of over $50,000. We had spent almost 360 days doing the Matrix uh, 2 and 3, bought everybody a bottle of champagne for an 800 person crew just to say thank you because it was such a, an experience for him. Keanu is an anti-bullying advocate. How can any bully continue in their selfish ways after hearing this from Keanu? Hey, Canada. You're known to be polite and civilized, right? People even tend to joke about it. A UNICEF study shows that you, Canada, have the fifth highest rate of bullying in rich countries. It's unacceptable. When kids get bullied, it can lead to anxiety, depression, or even suicide. So let me ask you, nice and politely, to change that. Together, we can make Canada the best place in the world to grow up. When it comes to the red carpet, celebrities often take the opportunity to flaunt their extravagant attire and arrive with high-profile celebrity companions. However, Keanu is not one to prioritize such matters. In the 2020 Oscars, he chose to escort his mother to the awards ceremony. Now that's a genuine display of appreciation. Keanu Reeves is with his mother here on the red carpet. Hi. Great to have you with us. It's getting chaotic on the carpet. It must feel electric when they're screaming, when the crowd behind us is screaming your name. Very kind, very nice, yeah, sure. So I won't ask you, but what can you tell us, Mom, about Matrix 4 that's in the works? Yeah. Nothing. Do you, do you know a lot? <laughs> Only about Matrix 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> She's well trained. Yeah. Well, great to see you, man. Thanks. Thanks a lot for coming by. All right, Keanu. All right. This is just one of the many stories which show Keanu's generosity to strangers. By the end of this video, you will hear many more. While many celebrities openly highlight their charitable endeavors, Keanu Reeves leans towards a more modest approach. When pressed, he reluctantly revealed that he has been quietly providing financial support to numerous children's hospitals for several years. He stated, I have a private foundation that's been in operation for five or six years, and it provides assistance to several children's hospitals and contributes to cancer research. I prefer not to publicize my involvement. I let the foundation carry out its mission. According to Vogue, it is estimated that he has contributed over $30 million to these causes. 
Keanu Reeves, accompanied by his family, extended a thoughtful gesture by inviting his representatives and the entire crew involved in his recent release, The Matrix Resurrections, to the film's world premiere held in San Francisco. From his managers to the dedicated stunt performers and makeup artists, Keanu generously arranged the trip and covered all their expenses as a token of appreciation. And yes, they all flew on the private jet. Despite having millions of dollars, Keanu likes to keep it humble. This fan noticed that he wore the same shirt on two separate occasions. Seems Keanu is just a normal dude. In this heartwarming clip, Keanu allows a little girl to ride on his prized possession motorcycle. During a flight from San Francisco to Burbank, Keanu Reeves found himself in an unexpected situation as the flight had to make an emergency landing in Bakersfield. However, instead of simply disembarking and leaving his fellow passengers behind, Keanu took it upon himself to organize a van to transport those stranded to their intended destination. Keanu rode along in the van and even shared fascinating insights about California with his fellow passengers, making the unexpected detour a more enjoyable and memorable experience for everyone. Everyone involved. It's around 380,000, wow. making it the ninth most populous city in California and the 52nd most populous city in the nation. Here are some clips you won't see blasted on social media. Keanu visiting sick kids in the hospital. While numerous celebrities adhere to tightly regimented schedules that leave little room for interacting with fans or signing autographs, Keanu Reeves stands out as an exception. Numerous videos capture him engaging in a lengthy conversation with fans discussing a wide range of subjects, with one of his favorite topics being his motorcycles. In one notable instance when a journalist posed a question, Keanu not only answered but also followed through by fulfilling a fan's request for a picture. His willingness to connect with his admirers sets him apart in the world of celebrities. Something really personal because my son is called Neo and my husband is called Constantine and you're his man crush. Have a minute in the lobby after all your interviews to take a photo. Yeah, no problem. It's so nice. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Did you know that Keanu and Sandra Bullock had a secret crush on each other? The two developed feelings during the filming of Speed. Keanu did not act on his crush because he wanted to be a professional. And I asked her because everybody had a crush on you, if she had a crush on you then, and uh, this is what she said. It was really, it was hard for me to like really be serious. Like he would look at me and I'd be like, <laughs> how sweet Keanu Reeves was and how Never dated him. Really? I, there was just something about me that I guess he didn't like. <laughs> but, we, but I think we're probably friends for that long because we didn't. Yeah. Right. That. She you have obviously didn't know I had a crush on her either. Oh, wow. I can't believe you both had crushes on each other and. Um. <laughs> we were working. Check out this lost clip of the two of them. You can see there was a vibe. This, the direction of just being like, you know, the. Complete damsel in distress. And really, and excuse us for a moment. Huh? Nice blouse. You think? Yes. I think it's really nice. How are you? I'm pretty well. Okay. Et voila. Keanu Reeves is very respectful of women. When taking pictures with female fans, he keeps his hands to himself. Despite all the success and fame, it seems that Keanu is not one of those Hollywood creeps. Come off the saddle, you're supposed to fall under it, hold onto the pommel. Excuse me. It's fine. And then shoot some guns. <laughs> um. During an Ask Me Anything on Reddit, Keanu surprised fans with some very interesting answers. Fans asked him what drives his compassion, if he has ever had a pet, if he has stolen items from sets. Keanu even reveals in one answer that he would have loved to play Wolverine. Honestly, we're here for it. It's worth noting that Keanu Reeves frequently sacrifices a portion of his earnings to facilitate the inclusion of other renowned actors in film projects. In the case of The Devil's Advocate, he willingly reduced his paycheck by several million dollars to ensure they could bring on Al Pacino. And he made a similar gesture in The Replacements to collaborate with Gene Hackman. 
Keanu's dedication to enhancing the overall quality of the productions by working alongside his team talents showcases his commitment to the craft over financial gain. Usually, when celebrities get heckled by fans, it's often packed with negativity. Keanu, on the other hand, gets compliments. The streets of the future is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking! <laughs> You're breathtaking! You're all breathtaking! Despite his immense popularity and success, Keanu Reeves has encountered substantial personal tragedies and hardships. In the late 1990s, his long-term girlfriend, Jennifer Syme, experienced the heartbreaking loss of their stillborn daughter, Ava. This devastating event had a profound impact on both Reeves and Syme. Tragically, just a couple of years later, in 2001, Syme lost her life in a car accident, compounding his already profound grief. Alongside these personal losses, Reeves also had to confront the decade-long battle with leukemia that his sister Kim faced. His unwavering dedication to her care and well-being during this challenging period demonstrated his exceptional character, yet it also posed significant emotional and personal challenges for him. A fan who was very aware of the breathtaking fiasco with Keanu knew that Keanu was filming for a movie nearby. The fan put up a sign which read, You're breathtaking, which caught Keanu's attention. Keanu replied by putting his autograph on the sign. In 2010, various pictures of Keanu Reeves sitting alone, often eating food, went viral. Keanu often looked sad in these pictures, and because of his tragic history, people assumed he was. Hence, the sad Keanu memes were born. The memes inspired Keanu to write his first book, called Ode to Happiness, a book of poetry meant to inspire those going through difficult times. Only 4,000 copies of the book were released. People are currently selling the book on Amazon for $1,400. Despite being released more than a decade before her birth, Emily's favorite movie is Bill & Ted's Excellent Adventure, and she's a big fan of Keanu Reeves. When asked about her one wish, the 16-year-old wanted to meet her favorite actor. Reeves and his team arranged for her to visit the set of Bill & Ted Face the Music in Louisiana, where she watched them film a scene selected by Reeves himself. Emily's mom, Deborah, expressed her gratitude to Make-A-Wish, noting that it was an incredible day that brought immense happiness to her daughter and that Keanu seemed to enjoy the experience as much as Emily did. Here's what Keanu had to say about his private life. Listen to the interviewer's reaction. I lead a very quiet, yeah. normal, boring disaster, but, but work is good. Aww. Oh, no. <laughs> You're gorgeous. And you are lovely. <laughs> Thank you so that you much. Do. Thank you, love. All right, bye -bye. Cheers. Thank you. Keanu is also known for making appearances at the most random locations. In this photo, we can see him visiting a local pub in the UK. Not many people get praise from podcast superstar Joe Rogan. Needless to say, Rogan is a big fan of Keanu and constantly hears nothing but nice things from his guests. Imagine Keanu being on a Joe Rogan podcast. That guy goes to the, sits on the subway by himself. Just became this super chill, mellow guy that can just like go through crowds. Like there he is right there on the f***ing subway, just chilling, you know? And he looks like a totally normal dude. Like everybody that I know that's met him has said the dude's like totally, look at it. He lets his chick sit down, you know? He said, do you want to sit down? Go ahead. Boom. But when you see him, he's dressed like me. Yeah. He's got like a regular watch on and sneakers. He's normal as f man. Yeah. It's, it's real weird. One of the comments on our viral Keanu Reeves being the nicest guy in Hollywood video showed just why everyone loves the guy. He offered a woman a ride to see her sick child. When asked about a profound question, Keanu did not hesitate to drop a bomb. What do you think happens when we die, Keanu Reeves? I know that the ones who love us will miss us. In an Instagram post, actress Kate Beckinsale explains how she had a serious wardrobe malfunction at the Cannes Film Festival back in 1993. Her dress was undoing itself, but luckily for her, Keanu was there to the rescue. A curious fan asked her, was Keanu Reeves as cool back then as he is now? Very curious if he's always been the same, which she replied with, heaven always. What more do we have to say? This clip of Keanu sets a high bar for celebrity appreciation. To express his gratitude to his stunt team on John Wick, he decided to gift them a luxury present, leaving no doubt about his appreciation for their hard work. And needless to say, working alongside Keanu Reeves is an opportunity no one would pass up willingly. What gift is better, getting a Rolex or a motorcycle from Keanu? Let us know in the comments.
Keanu took the four-man stunt crew out to dinner and he gifted them with personalized Rolex. On the back, reading the John Wick Five with a thank you to each of the guys. Keanu has raised the bar for co-workers. Yeah, exactly. Co-worker gifts. Actress Octavia Spencer was in a bit of a pickle when she first set foot in Hollywood. Was on my way to pick up a script to read for an audition. So I wasn't really wearing any underwear. I was wearing sweat. And my favorite college uh, football t shirt, it was worn. I mean, it was see through, okay? No underwear, guys. And my car hadn't been washed because I always parked underneath the tree and there was bird crap all over the back of it. And it broke down like in this very posh area of Beverly Hill. And all of these people were sitting out there and the cars were honking. Nobody would help me. Luckily for her, Keanu came to the rescue. What's up with this guy? Is he like Clark Kent or something? Then all of a sudden this guy comes up with his sunglasses and motorcycle helmet. And I knew immediately it was Keanu Reeves. Do you need some help? And I'm like, sure. I thought he was going to get into the car. I got behind the car to push. He said, no, I'm going to push you out of the street. You get in. When people saw it was Keanu Reeves helping me, everybody came down <laughs> to help. Keanu has fans spanning generations. While he's the iconic Neo in The Matrix, to this young boy, he's just another person. Children often pose tough questions, and finding the right response can be challenging. However, Keanu effortlessly makes it seem like a breeze. How did you go into the computer? So I would have my hand, and then they would take a picture of it, and then in a computer, they would do an animation of all like a silver and silver hand, and they would show you on a movie screen. Here's a heartwarming tale involving Keanu Reeves and a fortunate grandmother. According to a Reddit user, their uncle encountered Keanu at a restaurant and mentioned that their mother had a crush on him. They expressed how much it would mean if Keanu could give her a call. Without hesitation, Keanu asked if there was a phone available and promptly made the connection. Ellen has a knack for leaving people utterly speechless, and when a competition is in play, you can expect the prize to be truly extraordinary. These women couldn't contain their excitement at the prospect of meeting Keanu Reeves, and their enthusiasm was unmistakable. What are you doing here? What are you, are you came I, from? I played a game on Ellen's show, and I won. Uh, well, hugs you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> However, Keanu knew just how to respond to their overwhelming reaction and brighten their day. Really important question. Mm -hmm. How is it like kissing Keanu Reeves? It was great. And then you have to play this scene where it's like, you know, I've loved you since I was seven. Oh my God. <laughs> You're so good looking. <laughs> what unfolds when a child gets the chance to meet their hero? We can imagine that this boy became the envy of a school the following day. I'm such a big fan. What's your name? Noah. My name is Noah. You're probably my favorite actor in the whole world. Oh my gosh, Noah. Best. Thank you. Did you see Duke Kaboom? Yeah, he's my favorite character. Canada's greatest stuntman! Not only did he have the opportunity to meet Keanu Reeves, but he also had the chance to showcase his drawing skills to him. He made the perfect choice in selecting Keanu as his hero. Do you draw? I could do like a quick little sketch of Spider-Man. Let's do it. You want black, red, or silver? Red. Thank you. You. you too. Nice to meet you, young man. A wedding day is typically brimming with nervousness and anticipation, and the thought of having a celebrity join the celebration rarely crosses anyone's mind. James and Nikki certainly didn't anticipate meeting Keanu Reeves on their special day, and when they casually share their wedding photos, it's safe to say it might have sparked envy in some. Keanu dropped some seriously good advice about approaching romantic relationships. If you are in a relationship, get your notebook out. I'm so, not a fighter, I'm a lover. I don't know, no, because if you're a lover, you gotta be a fighter. Because if you don't fight for your love, what kind of love do you have? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> It's no secret that Keanu loves dogs. If you watched John Wick 1, then you would know that he is willing to kill for the little rascals. But did you know that Keanu is the puppy king? I'm the puppy king! The humble Keanu Reeves will simply not accept the title of nicest guy in Hollywood. Well, tough luck, Keanu. The title is yours. People do say that Keanu is the nicest man in Hollywood. Oh my is that gosh. True? No. No, no. He's pretty close. No, no. Oh, there's tons of nice people. There's a nice lot of people. people. Oh, come on, yeah. Here are more clips which show just how kind Keanu is with children. Surely this man must be an angel.
Being disabled comes with its set of challenges. It can be hard to get attention in a crowd of excited people. Keanu noticed this disabled fan and made sure to give them lots of love. When many celebrities get awards, they tend to have a sense of entitlement. I want to thank me. I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. Keanu, on the other hand, showed great humility when receiving his induction into the Canadian Hall of Fame. Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves, and thank you for the incredible honor for including me in the Canadian Walk of Fame. My hands, my palms are sweaty, my heart's beating, and frankly, I'm overwhelmed. I'm really grateful to having grown up in the culture of Canada. It's a, a great, great honor and an honor to be included with so many other great Canadians. It's, I'm just so grateful. In this rare video, we can see Keanu going out of his way to give this fan an autograph after a hard day's work filming. Keanu loves his fans. Here he is again, bowing to his fans in Brazil. When you ask for a picture with a celebrity, you tend to get a generic one with them just looking dead inside. Keanu goes out of his way to create an experience for fans. Check out this cool shot. This woman posted about her interactions hanging out with Keanu Reeves. It seems like he's such a chill guy. In 1997, one of the most renowned stories about Reeves surfaced when a photograph captured him sitting by the roadside with a homeless man. It was reported that Reeves had approached the individual, sat down with him, shared drinks and snacks, and genuinely listened to his life story. You can tell that Keanu puts his heart and soul into playing Duke Kaboom from Toy Story 4. Our question is, why does he look like Sean Wick while recording the voiceover? Look who jumped 40 school buses and landed back into my life. Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. Huh, oh yeah, ha, ha, yes. Huh, oh yeah, ha, 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 oh yeah. Yeah. Is Keanu Reeves John Wick in real life? Check out this clip of him at a gun range and you will be surprised at his skills. How many celebrities will keep their cool when someone invades their homes? The only person we know who could do this is John Wick, uh, I mean Keanu Reeves suffering two separate home invasions by obsessed fans in one week. Uh, I remember just like looking and just going, and in my head I was like, what's next? Go, no, go. It was a woman who just uh, was a fan and uh, wanted to say hi at four in the morning with her luggage. Now we have shown you dozens of clips of Keanu Reeves being nice to hundreds of people. This last clip is the only one we have found of him being angry with a reporter who was thirsty for an autograph. But here's the interesting thing, Keanu still signed the autograph. What a guy. If you love Keanu and want more people to know about him, make sure to subscribe to our channel. That way, YouTube will push this video. Stay being breathtaking.